After sellout crowds at the Los Angeles Outfest, Desiree Lim returned to her new Canadian home to find out that her film was one of the ones that the film classification branch planned to censor. Fortunately, they backed down, and there's a very happy crowd here at the Vancouver East Cinema tonight to see Desiree Lim's new film, Sugar Sweet. I'm really, really excited. This is the um, only festival that I can actually walk to because I actually live, you know, like three blocks from here. And um, it's, it's a very, very special screening for me because, um, you know, this is my new home. And uh, it's traveled all the way from Japan and all over, you know, uh, the United States and, and to Toronto as well before finally coming here. So I'm actually ending my, my tour with the film back, you know, in, in, in my home front. This was one of the films that was almost not shown during the festival how did it how did it feel from your point of view um, it came as a, as a culture shock actually because um, you know I thought this is the, a free country and uh, you know if you if you watch my film it's not about pornography it's you know it's 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 giving um, a very sharp critique about pornography so it's it's such a big irony to have the, um, the film board come down on my film um, in, in that way it was a bit of a whirlwind it was uh, definitely a whirlwind uh, in terms of our kickoff. Um, receiving a phone call the day before opening night uh, with, from the BC Film Classification Board with concerns about a couple of our films. And then, you know, if, merely a few hours later, getting a phone call from the theater management at Capital Six, uh, you know, saying that they had had a visit from the Attorney General's office who were going to find the theater because we didn't have a permit. I mean, that, that definitely was alarming. It was a surprise. It was shocking uh, news for us. Yeah. We've, we've never had to have a permit before. I think it, it definitely raised a suspicion about what, what their motives were, what were the real issues uh, for them. Um, and I think seeing the response from the community that, that came as a result um, from the opening night, you know, we've received phone calls and have talked to other, other film festivals and, you know, it's evident to us that this apparently wasn't typical protocol for other film festivals. So why suddenly with us and why with such short notice to our, to our opening? This, we were told, was one of the films that the, uh, the film review board wanted to review. So we thought we'd like to see what it is that the film review board really wants to see in a film, you know, or not see in a film, you know, why this one and, and you know, so we came out, we were curious. Well, this one, it was actually made for Japanese TV, you know, it's already been broadcast on television in Japan. Yeah, well, that, that sort of figures, you know. I mean, I, I just thought it was funny in Little Sisters film when they said uh, that the only two countries in the world where Rushdie's uh, satanic verses have been banned are uh, Iran and Canada. Uh, yeah, it just blows my mind. I mean, I mean, you know, what are they afraid of? <laughs> you know, like, there was no sex in that movie. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> Which, and uh, what I found intriguing was, the, you know, the ones that they, ones that they would seem to be threatening to pull, were ones um, that really didn't, that weren't necessarily so much sexually explicit as ones that appeared to have some kind of opposition to yeah. vested authority. I think when I, all I can do is just scratch my head, knowing these are situations that are always happening. There's always barriers, but one of the things I like about our community is we like fighting these barriers, and we've come a long way. <laughs> we want to follow up. We want to find out, you know, why was the BC Film Classification Board, you know, bullying us, what feels very much like bullying. And, uh, yeah, we want to dig into that. We want to find out, you know, what happened, what transpired, and what steps can we do, you know, what we'll be considering all our options, put it that way. The censor's backed off for now, but let's not let this story get swept under the rug. Send a note of support to the director of Out on Screen. Send a note to your MLA, Lauren Mayencourt. Unless we speak out, Little Sisters versus Big Brothers will have fallen on completely deaf ears. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy yet another great queer film. For Outlook TV, I'm Larry Colsey.